Welcome back to the Evil Without 2. We're heading further north and exploring up here. I want to see what's up this kind of out of the way road. Walnut Drive. They see me. Not gonna waste my ammo on you. The hell? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I see it kind of just floating through the air, it looks like. I'm getting the hell out of here. Safe to go back? <laughs> I'm sorry, it just looks ridiculous. Like, everything about the ragdoll is just a little bit too loose. Right, well that one's got fire. So. Maybe, maybe I can just shoot it. Let me just try trying to shoot the thing. It's going to be hard to get a clear shot on it, though. Oh. All right. I don't think you actually have to shoot it. I think I just shot them, and then they kind of got staggered and dropped it. Much better than using a whole shock bolt. Mysterious Weapon Replica. Another reference to, I guess, Wolfenstein? I think the body slid off.
Let's go check up here. Oh, I think I saw this point. This is like the point uh, back when I encountered the ghostly woman in that one building. And this point, this is kind of like when I was watching somebody play through the game. So I actually saw them go up here. I know that you get like a vision and then someone comes after you and you have to shoot them. Oh, I guess it's after I trigger that thing there. Well, let's do it. Oh, fuck me! I didn't realize how much health those things had. I mean, I knew a sneak kill didn't kill them, but I never tried to just straight up shoot them with a the pistol. I think that's the job for the shotgun. What, what are you trying to do, Sebastian? Four shots. They're strong. Twelve hundred goo. Nice. Shotgun pouch. Ten shots. Good, because I could really hold very, very little before. Okay. Guess that's the end of the road. Should I keep going up here? Now, let's go back to the main road. I just a bottle. That's the woman's voice quest. I went in there. Yeah, let's keep going north. Shotgun chills. Oh, there's another safe house up there. Oh yeah, I went into that garage. I remember that. That's a new type of enemy. Bird. Goodbye, friend. There's another one up there. Oh, they're all over the place. Don't worry, I'm not going to shoot them. I see you. Yeah, they're gonna wake up. 
Oh, some of them are already waking up. Wow, there's a lot of them. There's a signal from this house up here. KCPD request for psychological evaluation. Detective Sergeant Castellanos, following the events of Beacon Mental Hospital in October 2014, department policy requires that you undergo a mandatory psychological evaluation. Please report to the Standards and Training Division to schedule your fitness for duty evaluation. Dwayne Wright, Police Psychological Services, handwritten note. What the hell is oh, crap, this? Crap, I didn't mean to skip it. Where was it? Here it was. Oh, here it was. Uh, Sebastian, this is nothing to worry about. Just tick a few boxes, answer a few questions. SOP. I don't know what SOP means. Okay, this is the house I was thinking of. I was thinking of that woman in the woman's voice quest, and also this house is the one that kind of locks you in. So this one I saw too. Psychological Evaluation Report about psychiatric assessment of Detective Sebastian Castellanos. While cleared of any wrongdoing in the disappearance of Detective Oda and Junior Detective Kidman, Detective Castellanos' statement, uh, statements about the Beacon and Mental Hospital incidents have been vague and evasive. Initially reluctant to speak to a mental health specialist, Detective Castellanos eventually opened up about what happened that day. It is my expert opinion that he is suffering from paranoid delusions. The recent death of his daughter, combined with whatever happened at Beacon, seems to have fractured his grip on reality. It's my recommendation that Detective Castellanos and the rest is torn off. That may be. But what good is it to hang 
onto this version of reality. Perhaps if we disabuse you of this notion, things will go more smoothly for you. Was he just head shrinking me, or did he know something I didn't? <laughs> it's pouring out a bucket of blood. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy, spooky. You can't keep me here. You cannot keep me here. What's going on? Were those just memories? What do you want? Sebastian, are you alright? Your vitals suddenly spiked. You're about to go into cardiac arrest. I saw a beacon. I was there again. I don't know, but I know what I saw. God, I hope it doesn't happen again. It's bad enough in here already. I don't want to have to relive the past over and over. Place is trying to mess with me. Can't get distracted. Gotta find Lily. <laughs> that is some thick blood. Ah, uh, the old... <laughs> Poor trope of bloody smudges and writing on walls. Oh, I've got two red gels. Alright, I think we can leave now. That wasn't there before, was it? Like a hospital gurney? Yeah, there's kind of a cool callback there when it looked like when it looked like Sebastian was back at uh, the Beacon Mental Health Hospital or whatever it's called. If you noticed, it kind of went it had black bars on the top and bottom. It got like super super widescreen, and I think that was a callback to the original game, which didn't have a extremely kind of wide aspect ratio and black bars on the top and bottom. I thought that was a thing, so I think it was a callback to that. Alright, we have a crap ton of enemies here. One, two, three, four, five. At least like five over there. Nope, six. Not to mention one huge thing. Let me see if I can start picking them off. Huh? 
I shook the entire car with my knife strike. I think it hurt. No, it didn't, did it? No. Oh, right, that one's got fire, so I don't want to approach it. Alright, let me just give it a quick little... There we go. Yeah, something's going on, huh? Pretty weird. I think that one might be investigating. Other than that, nobody cares. Maybe I can get this one's attention that's banging on the car. Will it see me? one banging on the car. Like, I feel like it's going to see me on the other side, but it might not. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ, that thing. Fuck that thing. Please turn around. Please turn around. Thing's terrifying. I really thought they would have saw me. <laughs> Alright, let me get this one over here and then get the car one. Oh, there's one over there too. Well, I could just burn them, but why bother? Actually, I could try to lure that thing over to there and then shoot the puddle and catch it on fire. I don't know. I'm going to try a sneak attack on that thing first. I doubt it's going to go down in one hit. Let's take out this one, though. Eh, too dangerous. That other thing might turn around. I think I should wait till the big one comes over this way. Oh god, that's bright. Oh, 
Okay, it's coming back this way, but I think I've got time. Shit. Mm. No! Oh, and that thing makes fucking horrible noises. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Look at it. It lost me. Okay. Christ. Actually, maybe I should... No, I'm not going to honk the horn. Actually, I am going to honk the horn. Didn't work. Mound of flesh, and it doesn't die in one hit. Nope. I hate his noises so much. I think it spotted me. Oh. oh, fuck. Okay. Oh. Oh. Gonna try to burn him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This way. Fuck off. Fuck off. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, that did not work out. Whoa, that car explodes. Okay. All right. It spotted me again. I think so tall I can just see over everything. I'm going to take this opportunity. To use a syringe. Make that two. Still doesn't die? Oh, it does. It does. Thank God. Oh. That's gotta be worth a lot of goo. 1500. Not as much as I would have hoped. Okay. Got a bunch over here. Let's get it to spot me.
Oh, actually, no, I don't want to track this one. Because that one has got fire. Okay. There's two close together. Surely this is a good time to shock them, right? cleared them all out. Looks like there's like a gas station. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. So of course we're not actually going there. Shotgun shells and a safe house. Oh, that's what that means? That's a safe house? I think that's what that glowy thing up there means. Of course we got some more that are going to wake up and we got the one underneath. Can I wake them up by just like throwing a throwing a bottle at their face? <laughs> oh my god, it works! <laughs> I guess that's my new tactic for waking them up without wasting any ammo. That one's fine. Aha! <laughs> oh my god, that looks ridiculous. Alright, over at the pile of bodies, there was another axe. I'm gonna grab it. Oh, they give you a shock bolt to open it. Does that mean you can only go in here every time you use a shock bolt? So it's like sort of an emergency safe house? You know, one that requires resources to use? If that's that thing I keep encountering.
All right. Do I need coffee? I think I do. I think I'm a little bit low. Information Center, welcome to our city. Report 00122, recruits. The number of applicants received through the Mew Centers has surpassed that of the medical testing front. Registering the Mew Centers as a tax-free religious institution has increased revenue, which we've used to render expansions to accommodate the influx, uh, accommodate the influx of new recruits. Mr. Wallace's use of neuro-linguistic programming creates recruits that are far more mentally malleable and stable than previous STEM candidates. Yeah, see, the document I was reading before that I accidentally closed out of... I closed it because I was trying to mash a bunch of keys to make this thing scroll down. I think you literally have to press page up and page down to make it scroll down in this view. If you view it in your inventory, you can do it with a scroll wheel. But the arrow keys doesn't do it. The wait, what? Okay, the scroll kinda works if you like scroll twenty times, then it kinda goes down. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mew Center's recruits are also willing to voluntarily cut off familial ties, which eases the pressure on Mobius operatives working in law enforcement. No more pesky missing persons reports to file. Is my recommendation that Mew Center recruit? Uh, recruitment becomes a Mobius standard for all new citizens. It has been a resounding success. Smoke bolt. This crossbow bolt releases a cloud of smoke centered around its impact point. Sometimes stealth is a better option than fighting. It's easier to escape or sneak kill when enemies can't see you. Upgrading your smoke bolts at a workbench can give you the ability to sneak kill enemies trapped inside the area of effect. Ooh. I want to upgrade those ASAP. That sounds really nice. That I don't I'm not quite sure what that is. That little thing on the desk says man's life. Probably go ahead and save just in case something horrible happens. I mean, it's a safe house, so I doubt it, but. And where's this computer gonna take me? The Marrow Operations. Another little mini place, probably. Let's see if we can upgrade the smoke bolts right now. Oh, you gotta get all the way to here. That's pretty pricey. It's a long road to get there. Yeah, I don't have enough weapon parts to do much. I do know that I should probably do some crafting. Yeah, I need handgun rounds. Let's make 12. And some shotgun rounds. I'll make 6. Man, there goes... There goes like 60% of my gunpowder. And a syringe. Yeah, I've got almost 9,000 gel. I definitely have enough to do something good. Welcome back, detective. Oh yeah, I never finished taking those rounds because I couldn't fit them all. Still can't take them all. <laughs> There's one left.
There's nothing wrong with being cautious. Yes, but yes. You can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Less kickback would definitely be nice. What's this one up here? Oh. It's combat time. Bullet time. <laughs> oh, that costs 75,000. Christ. You're going to have to save up for a long time. That's incredible. Let's lower kickback. That's enough combat. Let's kind of spread around, do some cheap ones. These aren't super cheap. Alright, the recovery one's garbage. I'm really not interested in this at all. I'm not interested in doing the recovery in any of these at all. Three thousand for much more life. That's worth it. Any little things we can do in stealth? Nope. Okay, gonna save my gel now. Wait, did I find... I feel like I found another slide. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I did. This one. Great. Slide of lots of dead people at the Beacon Mental Hospital. Wonderful. Good memories. Alright, let's save it again and then go into the computer and see where it takes us. Looks like it's locked by some sort of password. Oh. Damn. And yeah, it looks like this place is open permanently. Nice. Alright. Gunpowder. And the sniper rifle parts, which I really want. Let's just go down the street. Can I open up the back of this truck? Oh, it's already open. Oh cool, we got a floating crate. I knew it was special. Well, oh, it's just taunting me to go around. Huh. Ah, another one of those big, tall things. did I just see? I swear Sebastian just like flipped around in the air for like one frame.
No, no. Thank God that thing's never actually, like, spotted me, because if it does, I don't know how I'm going to lose it. I don't feel like I'd be able to shoot it, and it can just go through stuff, so... Don't know how I'd lose it. Is this the building where the parts are? Ah, uh, it's in the back. And this... I've already been here. Yeah, that's the, like, parking lot. Flew all the way over here. Oh, the parts are in there, and there's a bunch of monsters locked in there. Alright. I see someone right behind this vehicle here that looks like they might wake up. Don't spot me, please don't spot me, please don't. Oh, it spotted me. Fuck. Oh, I did not mean to shoot that. Can I get it back? Oh, okay, it, oh fuck. Oh fuck, am I just dead? Oh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I think I'm just dead. Oh. Alright. Its eyesight is pretty damn good. I think they know where I am. Oh no, 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 all right. I don't think they knew exactly where I was, but they could get close enough. Wow, wow, this is not good. Oof. Roar. Fuck you. Oh god, that thing's coming! I'm gonna die. Time- wait. If he's a medkit, it's gonna take time, right? Like, doesn't he have to do a thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's not instance. You can't really do it, like, during combat. 
Not during active combat. You'd have to be hiding. Okay. I think I'm just going to have to use some ammo and just stop trying to stealth kill everything. I don't think it's going to work here. Stomp him, stomp him before he throws goo. Run! Come on. Yeah, you see something. You see something. scared of it. I know it's not going to go down in one hit with a sneak kill. Just pick a place to go, please. Alright. How about you go over there? And we're going to run after this. Okay, we got it. <sighs> oh yeah. I can't get that goo. It's under the stairs. That's a shame. Oh, they're not trying to get out this door. They're trying to get out that one. 
Wouldn't this be really loud to open, though? I feel like they would hear it. Oh. That didn't do anything. <laughs> Oh no, they're banging on this one. Hi. Oh, <laughs> what? I just switched places? <laughs> Interesting. Not quite what I was expecting to have happen. Sniper parts. Sniper parts. These parts should fix the broken sniper rifle. All oh, right, that's a workbench, so I could do it right there. So is it a weapon upgrade? No, crafting. There we go. This rifle is super accurate at long range thanks to its powerful scope for when you don't want to get your hands dirty. Now, how about ammunition? Eight gunpowder. Alright, I'll make... Two. There it is. Honestly, let's just attract it over here. Come on. Sign this to something. I'll go with five. Just see how this thing looks. Two zoom levels. All right. It's on me. <laughs> See what's at the edge of the world. We got some gunpowder over here. Other than that, though, it looks like it's the gunpowder and then just the main quest. Let's grab the gunpowder.
Alright, well on that note, I think it's a pretty good place to end this episode, because it looks like we've explored basically everything except for the main quest area. Which, judging by the fact that it doesn't look like we can access any other areas, I'm going to guess that after doing that we're probably going to open up some new part of the world or just straight up go somewhere else. Alright, so, I'm just going to go save, but I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to head up and do the main quest.